We're not thinking about Emily. All right. Once again, I will demand all of your salt and pepper. All right. Um, to our protein stand. We'll start there for now. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. This, I don't even think either of those are on the menu, so... Or no, the what ails you is still on the menu. No, oh, we were here already, sorry. Alright. I'm not thinking about that one. Alright, um... I hope I don't have to think about Emily to progress the Claire story. I don't think so. That menu should be good. Oh, very good. Still decent stock. Oh, check on Katie. Uh, that's... This is the uh, taking a lot of days off of work? Yes, okay. But she says it's going to be good after this week, so we're going to say that's fine, cool, whatever. Alright. Still can't make that shitty phone call. Let's make lots of money, and then we'll see where we are for the evening. Buy a little more chicken, a little more... Well, see what I'm missing for the beef. Okay, we're down to three steaks and three broccoli. Three steaks, three broccoli, and three garlic. All right, well, that's pretty easy, then. But definitely some more chicken, too. Unless we're just low on salt and pepper. No. Okay. But we only have eight salt and pepper, so I should only... I should buy more... Uh, oh. I shouldn't go too much over... On that. Worst comes to worst, that'll leave me some for tomorrow. With two shifts, we should at least hit the $500 mark, and then we we'll probably even take the whole day off if I really felt like it. But I want to make some more money. So. Well, now we're going to be a little under, but. Fine, yeah, those, again, this one's going back on. Oh, that's right, broccoli. We need more for the, the beefy boy. Let's ride. Yeah, that should be good. Be good. Sold a lot of dirty birds. We'll go ahead and push. We might disappoint some people on the dirty bird front, but. Double check to make sure you're not gonna do something stupid. All right. No disappointments. All right. I just realized the capacity thing only happens earlier in the week. All right, but we're good and close. I don't know why he says he has the cash now when he does not have the cash now.
I'm once again looking for all of your salt and pepper. Oh, that's... Alright, load up on ginger, because we are going to blow through that chicken in, like, the first shift. Alright. Beef's starting to move, too. Which is good, we need the money, but... Right, so how many salt and pepper do I have total? Eight. Yeah, a little extra for later. Tofu load up. Um... Probably gonna sell some more onions at this rate. So I'm probably gonna put that. Well, I think it's still on there, but yeah, we're once we run out of the chicken, that's gonna pick up some of the slack. All right, and I think we're gonna think about Emily just so I can skip this. Text her. Uh, ask if she wants to meet up. Oh, so you go right to the meetup. Wait till she gets there. This is what I did before. I'm trying to keep most of the route the same. Up to where we screwed up. Alright, ask you want to see you again. Just be friends, you dingus. Alright, and that didn't even take a whole thing. Cool. Alright. Let's party. Let's get paid. Got a few dirty birds left, so we're gonna blow through those. We'll definitely make the money. So we're at a dirty bird. Uh, we're either low on tofu or low on ginger. Tofu. So get more tofu. Get a little more beef just in case. We got two shifts, right? Yeah, we should be alright. I don't want to keep going nine with the beef, but... Seems safe. Garlic, how are we looking? How's my onion supply? Start the week with only 50 bucks, and you gotta make, I think, 12.50 to make the next one, so it'll be a little annoying. Now you can buy 10 packs, which is nice. I thought I could afford any of this new stuff to get fancy. Um, also, do a manual save here. Let's try 
try to make this the urn. We're only really two hours in. Jeez. Oh, I can't afford it anymore. But that'll let me get the dirty bird back on the menu. I don't think I have any chicken for it. <laughs> Oops. Oh no, we do. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'm out of ginger. Of course I am. Can I buy one ginger? I think so. It's gonna be a rough morning, but we have bought one ginger. Like, ideally, I want to get the foodie added to uh, my repertoire this week, early on. I don't think we're going to need new seats. Maybe, like, one more right away. But th then, then I... Oh, and I, I... We can get the soy sauce now, right, too? Yes. That's the plan for the pork and the bok choy. Because the foodies, they like to spend some money. We're gonna pull the wood ales, you put the dirty jar. And then. I got a few taters, so we might as well add it just in case. Kinda of risky, but that's enough stuff that we should be able to satisfy most people. Yep! Alright, we're good. I actually have some money to play with. So I'm gonna do the ad tomorrow. That's what we're gonna do. I need protein. Uh, because I don't think I have any now. <laughs> Okay, we have tofu. I just need more ginger. That's fine. Beef. Okay, we have enough for three of those. We should buy some more of all three items. We definitely need chicken, so... Ten plain chicken, please. Which I kind of want to just keep it to individual for now. Um... Like, with this amount of money, like... Alright, uh, and hopefully we buy a little more broccoli, like maybe one. <laughs> yeah, one. One plain broccoli, please. Okay. Now let Paul go for snacks. We're gonna think about Claire. We are not going to fucking call her. I think answer phone gets you Emily, I don't, and I guess snacks, you probably run into Lisa, is my best bet. Alright, do not call her, because he just gets, he's just an ass, he's an absolute ass. No. Might be frustrated, but she was pretty clear about wanting privacy before. I'm an adult. I can wait. Yeah, that's not how you acted when you fucking called her. Because you make the call, you can't be like, oh, you can't apologize mid-call. It, it just, it turns into a bad time. Alright, so let me check my menu. That's looking a little better. Do I have more potatoes or onions hanging out right now? Because I know we sold through some of each. More potatoes, actually. I'll leave the zestator on. Alright, yeah, let's open. Alright, I need more beef. What am I low on here? 
We have some beef. We're completely out of broccoli. And we're very low on garlic. Okay. I can't afford it anymore. All right. Um, remember, I don't have any broccoli, do I? Oh, let me sell the Worcestershire bag. I'm not using that. Not ideal, but I think that should let me get at least a little bit of broccoli to keep this rolling. Three is better than zero. We haven't been getting that many old guys, so... Probably check stock on your vegetables versus vegetables. Potato six, onions five. Alright, ginger versus salt and pepper. Eh, yeah, we'll ride that for today. Alrighty. So good. All right. Did anything drop off the menu? No. Beef with your bros. All right. That's fair. No. Probably use all the broccoli. Um. And then I need to we'll add that back on just to see. No, just fill the slot. Who knows? Maybe some people want it. Gonna make a little less money for this shift, but whatever. Alright. Run through all that ginger. Well, I did have it on two things, so that's fine. Uh, garlic. Need another bit of a struggle day, but... We got some chicken left, that's good. Oh wow, we sold a lot of tofu. Save some money for broccoli. Oh, yeah, this one's... Alright. Do anything stupid there? No. Alright. Alright, we're gonna pull for what else you can put... Uh, I think we have all the stuff for the beef now, right? Got garlic, got meat. Yeah. Only for four of them, but... That's a, that's a better seller, so, or at least you get more money for it, so we're gonna stick with that. No, create edit. Oh, and I can finish the I choose your choice you. And add the show you. Set a price for it. We are not selling it at a 200% markup.
Like, once we get the foodies, they I think they have a limit of 30 bucks, so... They'll be in on that. Okay, I should probably get a little more beef. It's the broccoli that's the shortest on there. Broccoli. Yeah, garlic's fine. an ad. We'll get some foodies in, so... Apparently we check on Katie again, that's a new one. I haven't tried the snacks one before, so... As a chef, I should really know better than to get junk food from a convenience store. I mean, I have plenty of access to fresh produce. If I want chips done right, I can just cut up a potato myself. Stuff in the bag clutch in my hand probably has more preservatives than ingredients. It's also so, also so delicious. I mostly just stand around wrapped in my own world as I wait to prepay for my gas. On top of the chips and soda I grabbed, uh, or sorry, on top of the chips and soda I grabbed, I began contemplating grabbing something from the selection of candy they had ingeniously lined up at the register. Nako? I turned my head slightly so I can get the owner of the voice in my periphery, but I wish I hadn't acknowledged it so quickly. So this is where the Lisa path starts. Hey, it's good to see you. Lisa smiles at me. But I turn my head away so you can't see my face. These are fake politeness. Like, He's such a dick about her. Like, what happened between her and Paul is not his fucking business. Getting gas? Of course I'm getting gas. Why the hell else would I be here? Yeah. Me too. Please get quiet. I'm hoping that means Lisa isn't trying to keep talk trying to talk to me. But as soon as I finish pay and I'm walking to my car, I hear her rush behind me. So I was thinking, it's been a while since we hung out, you know? We never hung out. Lisa was always just clinging to Paul when we were watching movies and stuff. It has, yeah. That thing's been going for you anyway. I wanted to think of an excuse to leave, but I didn't have one. I still had to pump my, pump my gas. So, setting confirmed for not New Jersey. Fine. That's good. After that, things grow uncomfortably quiet. I think that maybe if I just focus on the rising numbers on the pumps, we'll get discouraged and go away. This is pretty awkward for you. I do the mild shock of the words, but I end up looking at Lisa right in the eyes. She seems both sincere and embarrassed right now. It's almost getting harder to be annoyed with her. I just want a chance to apologize for being like I was. I mean, I didn't do anything to you directly, but I guess, well, I guess I sort of did. She did kind of distract Paul all the time, too. Paul's your friend. And the only reason I'm trying to, I'm even trying to, and the only reason I'm trying to, even, even trying to be nice to Lisa. But I just, I wanted to... Lisa's face grows redder. She can't even look at me in the eyes anymore. I still remember having more dignity than this. i do something. Be polite. Well, there's no point in making things more awkward. It's fine, really. But it's not fine. I really hurt Paul, and I hate the way we left things. I can only imagine how hard it was you for, that, for you to have to deal with all of it. Christ, how self-absorbed can you be? You are one to talk, you little piece of shit. Paul was fine after the breakup. Sure, he was a little rattled at first, but he got over her pretty quick. They weren't even that serious. I was doing fine. I tried to sound like a jerk saying that. I'm not sure how well I'd pulled it off. The look on Lisa's face didn't really help me in figuring it out either. Oh. He is? 
Her eyes stare up like she's gonna cry, but instead of a big smile creeps onto her face. It seems like she's genuinely pleased by the news until the crack in her voice gives away how completely fake that smile is. Well, I'm glad. It could also be mixed feelings, you guys. He is such an ass. I hate if I ruined anything for him. He's a really great guy. She doesn't mean any of that, and I'm starting to get a little pissed off. I'll bet you are. Dude, he's, he's a piece of shit. He's such a piece of shit. The all those words make my anger much more evident than I'd want, and of course Lisa picks open up. The smile drops on a look of shock and confusion. I'm sorry? Hey, when the pump turns off, letting me know my, know my tank is full. Usually I'd try and get it in a little more to even out the cash shuttle when I go back for my change. But this time, I just yank the pump out and slam the tank lid close. Nice seeing you again. I clearly don't mean that. I also get in my car and crank the engine. Until I'm out of the station on the road, I realize that I had not twisted the black lid thing back on before peeling away. I thought I just stopped by somewhere to buy a new one. It'd be pretty annoying to deal with, I'm sure. Oh, he doesn't have one that has the little dangly bit. He's such a dick! He's such a dick! All right, how are we looking menu-wise? Be with your bros, and we just invited the foodies in, so we're gonna drop the tater, and we're gonna run the pork. sells pretty well, so, or it sells for a fair amount, so. We still got two points with Lisa for that fucking shit show, so, I'll take it. Like, did we sell any pork? No. We're definitely low on beef ingredients. I think chicken, we're just low on chicken. Chicken, we're low on chicken. Tofu, we're low on tofu. Ginger's good. Salt and pepper's decent. So we get beef stuff. Definitely broccoli. Maybe the foodies don't come till the evening. I thought we got seven more during the day, but whatever. Um... I'm going to dial the price down just slightly on this. Until we get a foodie in so I can double check the actual, their actual, uh, cash limit. Um... song again. So bro definitely broccoli. Okay, so what do I think the thing the things were low on for the uh Although, if we, yeah, if we saw a couple of bok choice, we're good for the morning. For the porks, whatever. Still no foodies. The only one we're completely out with is beef with your bros, so... Pull the beef and I'll throw the uh, 
You'd run the ad, right? Yeah, pull the beef. I'll put one of the veg on. The onion usually moves a little. Well, which uh, condiment do I have more of? Do I have more salt and pepper? Yeah. Actually, which, are the, which one's a better profit? Seven point five four percent markup versus thirty two point five. Oh, absolutely. Show me just one freaking foodie. None. We did place the ad, right? I'm not like, I'm not. in my mind here, right? Maybe I hit it and this didn't confirm? Get proteins before I get anything else because I'm going to screw myself otherwise. Yeah, I'm completely out of beef, so we're going to leave that off the menu. I'm just out of onions, I guess. Alright, uh, pull, pull for what else? Yeah, and hope for the best. Or put the tater on. There you go. That's why I have the backup recipes. One and the foodies have finally started showing up. That's good. Sorry, old man. I didn't have your beef anyway. Check menu. Good, we sold all of them. Awesome. That's gonna make some cash. All right. Um. We'll bump the price up on that. Okay, um... Alright, pork. Alright, we got pork. And what am I missing? Am I missing choy? I'm missing bok choy and soy sauce. Okay, so we can book some of that. Like, I want to talk to Lisa, but I don't want this guy to have any more uh, room to be a dickhead. My wish that Lisa wouldn't be at work today failed to be granted. She's always there, dickhead. Sure, it's kind of better to keep holding this grudge against her, but I just can't help it. 
fall is obviously over, so I'm not entirely sure why I can't seem to get past the whole her break my friend's heart thing. Because you're a dick. Lisa stands there in silence and refuses to look me in the face. And maybe she's still embarrassed about the gas station thing. Turns out she isn't. As soon as she looks up, her face scrunches in mild surprise, but then cracks into a big smile. I ain't never thought to see you here again. Don't trust getting your spices off the internet, huh? Can't blame you there. Can't blame you there. That stuff is stale before they even ship it out. Absolutely useless for a chef. Sorry if I made stuff awkward for, you, awkward for you at the gas station. I didn't mean to. I mean, that was my goal, you know? Damn it, why does Lisa have to put, so, put in so much effort to being friendly with me? I feel like a real jerk, even my cold attitude. Oh my! We might have an epiphany! No, I didn't think it was. I think I need to explain myself a little bit. You probably don't want to hear it. Lisa takes a short pause, and I grab my items, hoping that'll be my way. Uh, that that it'll be my way up. I just don't want you to think I'm an emotional mess. I'm really not. Of course it isn't. Not anymore. At least I'm not trying to be. I really do have my life better sorted than before. My priorities aren't nearly as screwed up as they were. Oh, I'm starting to ramble, aren't I? I don't know what it is about you that makes me want to talk so much. I wasn't sure exactly why I was still standing here myself. Guilt, I guess. Probably though. I'm keeping you. I'm sorry. Lisa slips out a nervous chuckle. Come again, please. I'm not gonna make my way for the exit, but her voice stops me. Hey, maybe we could. Lisa stops like a practically hear her backpedaling. Never mind, you probably don't want to have anything to do with me. Let we'll a rough sigh and turn around. This is getting ridiculous. It'll only get worse each time I come in here. I don't dislike you, Lisa. I just don't know how I should act. Yeah, we noticed. Paul was my first good friend, and you, you're my, the first friend's ex I've had to deal with. I'm only half lying. I did have to deal with friend's exes before. Of course, it had been in high school, so keeping the same methods for dealing that I, uh, for dealing that I'd use then is probably pretty unfair. I know what you mean. And doesn't even know you came. He doesn't even know you come in here. I literally ran into her here. A bit of a continuity error. That's fine. You're still friends with Emily. Literally ran into them talking here. Uh, yeah, should I have not mentioned that earlier? I didn't want to make things awkward. Last bit of her comment makes her laugh pretty hard, and I can't help but laugh with her. I should actually lift some when we're done. Lisa wipes, wipes a rolling tear off her cheek with the, her thumb. So, uh, would it be okay if I get into your restaurant? I can't really stop you. Well, I probably could, but I'll end up looking like a massive dick to Katie and Dante. That's a, la that's a lateral move, my dude. No, I mean, I know that. I just didn't want to walk until we were okay. Oh. Party wants to tell her not to come. I wouldn't necessarily know that she's there. She does come in, but she's more personal now than she used to be. Oh no, please tell me I did not just set myself up for her to show up when Claire's there. If she does come in, she might end up mentioning me to Katie, and that will just open to all sorts of questions about my past that I do not want to get into. Specifically Emily-related ones. Well, you don't stop thinking about her, so, like, fuck, man. And will letting her come by betray, be, be, by be betraying Paul somehow? Surely not, but... Just, can't really just deny her entry, can I? Maybe I should just hold off the decision until I get out more. Think on it? Why is this just it's such a sticky situation all of a sudden? I'm more worried about Claire showing up with her there, so... Pretty simple problem. Like, I don't want her assuming things and just, uh... Should be sure with the answer so much. Let me think about it. At least it doesn't seem to try to react to that, and I'm not sure really how I feel about it either. But she just gives you a polite smile. Sure, take all the time you need. It's really no big deal. Right, um... I pointed the exit with my thumb. Yes, of course. Please come back soon. This gives you a small wave as I head back out of the place. Maybe this would all be less strange if I just gestated on it for a bit. Alright, how are we looking here? Got one point. That's fine. Alright, um... 